Hello, it's Sunday, December 26, 2021. This is Dr. Rhonda Johnson, and today I'm going to be talking about what to do after you test positive for COVID. Now, first, I am offering general information. This information is not to take the place of your healthcare provider. Always, folks, consult your doctor. So, your test is positive, what do you do next? The well, first thing I want you to realize is that getting COVID infection can happen to anyone. Most of us never know how we got infected. So please don't feel ashamed, guilty, disappointed, self-critical, or even angry. Second tip is stay home, except to go to uh, the doctor or receive medical care, because most of us can recover at home. Your whole point of staying home is not to spread this virus to others. So that means you don't go visit public areas, you avoid public transportation, ride sharing, taking a taxi, if at all possible. And if you live with others, mask up when around other people and open up some windows in your residence to get the air moving. Third tip is to take care of yourself, get some rest, and most importantly, stay well hydrated. Try to eat something, folks, even if it's only jello or soup or crackers if you don't have much of an appetite. Take the over-the-counter medications for fever or aches according to the directions. Have some throat lozenges for a sore throat if that makes you feel better. My fourth tip is to monitor your symptoms carefully. You know you can keep notes of your symptoms such as your temperature readings or your pulse oximetry readings if you have a pulse oximeter at home. It makes discussions with your doctor a little bit easier. My fifth tip is to stay in touch with your doctor. You know, most people can be managed with consultation by their primary care doctors, even some telemedicine visits. Most people don't need to go to the emergency room. However, if you have trouble breathing or have other warning signs such as confusion, chest pain or pressure in your chest, inability to stay awake, or if you think you have, you're having an emergency, call 911, let them know you have COVID or have someone take you to the nearest emergency room. Tip six is to call a family member or friend. Let them know so they can check on you and drop off supplies if needed. And my seventh tip is to notify your close contacts that they have been exposed to COVID because an infected person can spread COVID for two days before the person has symptoms or tests positive. Now, I don't know anybody who wants to get COVID and with Omicron, you can get reinfected if you had COVID before and if you're vaccinated and boosted. So folks, fortunately, Omicron seems to cause mild infection at this time. Stay safe, take care of yourself. That's my message. My views are my own and have a blessed day.